we uh, do not have a quorum this evening for a formal um, board workshop, but uh, we will uh, listen to <laughs> our budget presentation anyways and ask questions and pass on the information to those members who are not with us this evening. So welcome uh, to the informal budget workshop. Uh, I guess, Marsha, I will immediately leave this or turn this over to you to present to us. Drew, nice to have you here. Alrighty. The rest, I think, are my Okay. Okay. I think we should start with this sheet. This is the new and improved version of the one that I handed out last time, which I need to apologize because I knew that the last version, something was wrong with it. I, sh I shouldn't have even handed it out. Anyway, this one is correct. Okay, good. And we've got four scenarios here. Remember, everyone recalls what stunt impact is? Paying half of the first payment and then spreading the second half out over the re remaining years. So the top two are with the pink rates on the right, two years at 220, two years at 240, and two at 260. And then we go up to 300. And then the bottom half is a little bit more aggressive price rate increases. Two years at 225, two years at 245, and two years at 270. So the parts I would like to point out are the surplus and shortfall columns and the total in debt reserve. And we are assuming that any surplus from a given year is going to roll into that debt reserve. and that any shortfall is relieved via the debt reserve. It's going to come out of there to get, make our budget where it needs to be. Um, and I put boxes around the, the tight spots, the pain points that are going to cause trouble. Uh -huh. So the top right, the pink rates with the step impact is good. It's pretty good. As long as everything goes according to plan, we should be okay until into the 2040s. Um, however, I would advise going with the lower right, the step impact plan with the slightly higher rates, just to give us a little bit more of a cushion. So if anyone has questions about these numbers, happy to go over them all. Oh, and this is also, all these numbers are assuming that we put 200000 in reserve as budgeted at the end of this year, and then next year uh, we had planned to put in 114000 in reserve. Yeah. And then all the years after that, we're just assuming that all the shortfalls, any surplus is going to go to the reserve. Is that all making sense? I was just yes, I was just looking at this uh, yeah. million that is in this debt reserve and yep. why it dramatically drops down at that particular point. Like, is that looking at like the second uh, the second what do you call it? 
uh, look at the village um, sewer system. Uh, I know we were looking at the work we're doing now going out about 10 years or 15, and then there was another stage that was going to go in around 2030. 2030. Right, Jake? Isn't that yeah, very I'm, so I'm, I'm just curious about what happens in that drop off there. Is that because of the continued growth in projected expenditures? Yes. And the yeah. constant revenue? Yes. Because I didn't increase, once we hit 300, just for this spreadsheet, I did not increase it again. Until 2052, I snuck a dollar in there, just for fun. So the projected expenditures are on a, oh, what's that, 3% you're talking about? Yep. Consistently. Okay. 3% a year. The projected revenue is looking at what we, um, almost looking at what we have in terms of like the rates that we're projecting, correct? Yep. So if, in fact, something happened over at uh, that little area there of Xerox, right off yeah. of, yeah. you know, Orchard, uh, yeah. or anything else that would happen yeah. in the village aspect of Xerox, yeah. that would impact an increase. They sold a couple more than that. So. Yeah. Yeah, the only, the only two factors that would affect the projected revenues are the rates or the number of EDUs. Okay. okay. Now that I have this spreadsheet, I've got all the glitches out of it, I can update it as often as you like. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <coughs> just for perspective, I just looked at it. You know, the 220 rate is basically equates to $2.08 a month increase. Um, of coffee, I guess, if it's not Starbucks. Or, yeah. <laughs> um, and the 225 is 250 a month. Or, yeah, 250 a month. Yeah. So it changes the way, you know, I look at my cable bill and mm -hmm. think right. of it. <laughs> yes. That's, yeah. that's it. They sent me a lot of the same material that I'm sending out my sewer bill. Um, <laughs> but my sewer bill's considerably cheaper. Yeah. Yeah, John made the the point that when most of these people see their sewer charge, they're looking at a whole year at once. But if you do, if you take a second and break it down to the monthly charge, it's nothing. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I guess we, we will need at some point a final decision about the rate for the coming year. But this is all the info I've got for you. Ready to move on to the sewer budget? The only gap there is the um, 
estimate for the barn, dealing with the barn. So I left that at 100,000, but we can adjust the contingency line and we should be okay as long as the barn is under 120,000. So that needs to keep under. Yep. And I will throw in there, if the barn comes in under 100, um, I have a better quote for that software. Um, we'd be looking at um, just over 10,000 for the first year and then just under 1,000 as an annual cost as opposed to the 3,500 I was quoted before. So that's a thing. And they also have an online payment option that we could explore at some point. Comments, questions? Anywhere else, I don't think, on this mm -hmm. road. Yeah. Sewer's budget is always pretty, pretty fixed. And to be factoring enough of the increase in the future. Yeah. Oh, I should, uh, <coughs> I need to hand the budget over to Heather to officially give it to the board by Friday. So mm -hmm. whatever version we agree on tonight is probably is the version that is going to get published as our tentative budget. And then we can, of course, change it later, but mm -hmm. just so you know. Yeah. Hopefully this is way too high. If you guys would give us treadmills downstairs, we could. Oh, yeah. there you go. That would be good. Cool. <laughs> while we run. Yeah, you know. <laughs> well, that is a sewer. I don't know if you have anything to do with that. I haven't looked at the one for the office. But. I'll run on a treadmill to pay for that software.
Jake, everything look okay with sewer to you? Yeah. yeah. So, I think it's basically what we discussed last time, and then plugging in those other numbers. Or... Yep. budget meeting and this one, mm -hmm. I clued in that the, uh, the BOA um, grant revenue <coughs> and the related expenses don't belong in the budget because they're capital projects. So those have come out. change to revenue since our last meeting. And I still don't have our current role summary, so the property tax budgeted amount is going to change a little bit depending on 2022 yeah. assessed values. But this is virtually unchanged. We are going to max out our tax rate, correct? The maximum allowable? Okay. On to the beast. General expenditures. First, I think I would like to point out the changes since last time. Mm -hmm. um, the first one is a 1325-200 clerk treasurer equipment. Mm -hmm. That is for a new vehicle for the front. Jake, we're not planning to replace the, uh, what do you call it? Equinox, yeah. No, no, this was the, the Equinox um, was kind of shifted to the code enforcement when we got rid of, and you guys, I guess, but temporarily. Oh, we got the, uh, we got rid of that Ranger that needed to go. So the plan was to keep that as the building inspector and then have a new vehicle for the front, kind of rotate them through that way. Okay, the next one is 1325 405. Mm -hmm. I added 5,000 yeah. for the codes. I mean, it's possible that it's going to come out of this year, though, right, Mother? 
Okay. But one way or another, we're going to spend it's about that much. <laughs> yeah. uh, let's see. Then 1325-406, next line down. That was increased a little bit to allow for... Um, Joe did a detailed projection, and that upped it a little bit. And then we added a thousand dollars to um, have fiber put in instead of cable. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Just make it happen. Okay. Uh, so far, so good. Yeah. Okay. Next line, 1620, 415, building and building maintenance. Yeah. That one was increased a little to account for the projects that you will see listed at the on the last page of the budget. That's a little snapshot of all the significant changes. Contingency. That's our plug. Mm -hmm. It's nice to have a significant balance in there just to keep things safe. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. And then uh, 6989 460 is the BOA engineering costs. I removed that since it doesn't belong in general. Slight adjustments to a few of the holiday lines, 75.50. We increased um, White Christmas and Veterans Day. That might be it. Uh, Halloween went up a little bit also. and things like that to make it happen because we'll have to decorate a little bit more up here versus just when it's downstairs. Santa. Yes. And that'll make the traffic a little better and we can make this more like a winter land up under, in here. And Sam's agreed to come one more year if we do it inside. Mm -hmm. so, and that's understandable. Yeah. yeah. Yep. We've got a lot more space. Yep. And he's, it's, it's hard for him for that long. Yeah. He's hard enough. Yeah. <laughs> well, he's like, I think this will be our last year, and we're like, if we can have it upstairs, would you consider doing another year? And he said, yes, he would, because he does enjoy it very much. Yeah. So we just wanted to get a couple more backdrops. Um, it'll basically cut off this area, but then it will all look like... Just like a Halloween. Yeah. But we're going to try to cover these up so you won't see this part so it'll feel like a real I already like this. Me too. I can't wait for me to put up some decorations and stuff. This is really great. Okay, and then the last um, alteration, 79.89.400 for, uh, what's that? oh, meeting broadcast. And that's for the projector and lengths. Yeah. And then um, this version is, there's a little wiggle room because the lease expense for the street sweeper is still, it's a very, very rough estimate. 
but it shouldn't be too much more than the 62 that I have in here. And we have enough in contingency to be a little flexible with that. That's based on a five year. Yes. Yep. Uh, let's see. Okay. Oh, and then. For, for leasing to buy? Yeah. Yeah, it's the lease purchase, municipal lease purchase then. Just like with the flush truck. And the loader, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And then there are a few it's other things. Oh, yeah. It's two, about 265. 285 in the worst case scenario, but we don't know. One of the things you said, the flexibility is because we don't know the trade in value or the resale value on our existing one. But that one is about 11 years old, 12 years old, and it was 180. Um, and unfortunately, we're probably not going to get anywhere close to that. Um, I mean, I would realistically expect we're going to get 25 or 30 if we're, if we're lucky with it. Specialized piece of equipment. I couldn't believe I'm sorry, looking at it. Yeah. We'll see what Aaron comes back with. Yeah. We are still missing a couple. If anybody has any, 
I'm pretty sure all are accounted for except for two. So these are, you're talking about the village code books or the? I'm talking about the village code books. Oh, okay. No, That's about the building yeah. codes is what I was talking about. Yeah. We're updating the village code books. <laughs> okay, we should bring that in and we'll update it for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looked like a salter for W10. So, oh, okay. W10 there. So, salter for W10. Okay. How are you all feeling about the general expenditures portion? It is what it is. See how we can do anything better. Like if you've been telling you, I mean, you can look at your own home budget yep. and understand, you know, what's going on. If he's just talking to my son out in Oregon, you know, he's got two kids in college and you know, all the stuff that's going on, and then they want to go on a trip to Vegas. And his wife is telling him how much money he can take to do it. So, I mean, it's the whole thing. Okay. Yep. We got laughing over all that. But, yes, thank you. So, before we part, um, I guess you can understand that they have their up and their out in the reserves. Oh, yes. Yes. Which one is protected? Yep. I'm concerned about the one this year. I know we're waiting towards the end. Yeah. Uh, we should we have to be able to put them in the reserves for those streets. Mm -hmm. They have to be done. And even if it's only a little bit, it will help the overall. So the other thing I wanted to touch on is that I've been working on projections to the end of this year. Um, we budgeted for general to have the second half of the ARPA money, uh, but Daryl's wanting it to go to sewer, and I think we should do that to the extent we reasonably can. Uh, I don't think we can do all of that ARPA money to sewer, but we should be able to roll some of it over at least. And still get the, you know, like the new W10 that we budgeted for and yeah. the sweeper for next year. Um, I think I think we'll be okay doing it that way. Do you have anything left out of that ARPA towards sewer from this year, from the first year? Through the two hundred ninety and whatever it was done. Well, the first year was last year, and we got not all of it. Mm -hmm. So the second year, we haven't. Uh, we allocated fourteen ish thousand for the uh, that extra pay, but the rest of it is sitting here. It's been offset by budgeted expenses, but. It hasn't been officially handled yet. It was something that can be used. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Well, with what I see in terms of your sewer projection, I'm a little bit more willing to <laughs> use some of those target funds towards some other thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that was initially a big concern. Yeah, uh, it still is. Well, yeah. So. We're just hoping that, you know, we don't have any emergencies in the next few years. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think this is a pretty workable budget. Um, Jake, I guess I would question you, actually, on this one. 
be, uh, this would be line, um, this comes to my attention. Uh, 5650, 470. 56, 50, 470. And expenditures. And it looks like it says, fence behind NOCO. Yes. What fence behind NOCO? That's the one that's out here. Yes, yeah, yeah. and yeah. the final fence. Yeah, it goes all the way there. Plus, we were talking about doing something with the timbers where they go along Corning Park, you know, where it turns the corners at final fence there, and then they turn yes. the corner of those timbers. Those timbers aren't in wonderful shape either. They probably have the best setup for that area where there's traffic and snow gets pushed into them and things like that. But. Um, so we're looking at doing some changes in that area. We priced out, I think, new vinyl fence. Um, so what we're looking for for that back side there, but having some other either ballards or something to go along that area along uh, Corning, you know, where it's something that would be a mix between decorative and um, sturdy. I guess. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Solid. Yes. Yeah, it might be something where we put collars with a simple chain between mm -hmm. them. Yep. You know, so you can see yep. you can see the things, but it's not going to get destroyed mm -hmm. either. Um, but that kind of stuff provide a nice buffer for the neighbors. And, mm -hmm. especially, yeah, yeah. You know, I'd like to pull one into there. just really really old and um, Matt uses it a lot we use it for trainings and the speaker is really horrible and you can't even hear outside just right around it so we just need a new one and it's, it's more of a pro version so when we do our training for employee um, like sexual harassment training all that stuff we need, we need a better one how old is it? at least five years it's been here longer than I've been here we just got rid of our overhead projector. We used to have that. We had one of those old, remember yeah. the overhead projectors? Yes. Yeah. 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 Right on the board. Love those. Right on the board. It's coming yes. back. Okay. <laughs> 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 it's coming back. Jake, is it possible for that to be moved? What to be moved? That screen yeah, over there. It's possible. But possible. Over on that side? Because when we were looking at a plan to have it a little bit more audiovisual, the board can't see it back there. Mm -hmm. So it would be better if it could be here. Because we were going to get a smart board, but that's down the road. So I wonder if in the meantime we can move that screen. Isn't that about the same size as that thing? Yeah, but it's very hard to get the projector on that because it's short. Well, so, a new light color wall, we might be able to utilize the wall. Could. To get whatever size we want. The movie night, yes. that's better. Yeah. But we don't really <laughs> use that, so we might as well just move it. Yeah. We can start using that. Over there, yeah. Well, we, typically put, we typically put the projector over there. For yeah, I think one of the problems will be that being as high as it is, there's just a short cable. Oh, we can certainly get it whatever we want, but if it's that high, the projector would have to be back here in the middle of the room before. Honest to God. So, well, then the other thing I was thinking about getting along with the projector is they're like 80 bucks, 100 bucks. You can get one that's movable. Yeah, we talked about having to mount it. At one time, we talked about having one mounted on the ceiling. Mm -hmm. They could project on something up high, but with the way this is set up, and it wasn't planned into it, but this building, one of the air conditioning units up there, or yeah. air handlers, every time we come on, it looked like an earthquake. Yeah. Okay, so I'll just get a little one. <laughs> so yeah, we can figure something out. Okay. Good. Yeah, that's all I got. That's enough. Thank you for putting the date on it. Yes. Oh, yes. Please. You're all organized down there. You'll be okay. <laughs> this was the whole reason for that. <laughs> What is the 
training, I just, real quick, I just saw it here. Uh, training Joe and Aaron and Williamson. Williamson oh. Lombo. Yeah. How to Train them to get to Williamson. And you know, that people are what? I think the different capabilities that that system has, because it's more than just permits. Yeah. Uh, there's permits, there's violation tracking, there's uh, I, I've never used it, but I, I looked at there's the there's tabs across the top. You can top of you can set permits. I think the fees that are associated with the building permits, the violation notices, some code enforcement stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's, letters, there's, there's, there's a lot of capabilities, and I think it's basically, for lack of a better term, is used like a, a, a template for permits, really. Okay. And mm -hmm. so that would be good. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, it was the Salter. Salter? Yeah, for the 10. I think the last gap is just the barn. That's about it. This barn at uh, STP. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking about just doing that myself because <laughs> it's hard. And the problem is, you know, it's, I guess it's good that people are busy. Um, and ones that everybody else wants to do their work are probably the ones that you want to do your work. Yeah. But it sure kind of makes it a pain sometimes when you want someone to call you back. <laughs> <laughs> were you um, able to talk to the other gentleman who were going to ask about the front door? Yes, yeah. He came and looked at the windows and looked at the front door as well. Oh, good. So, yeah. Yeah, so it would be interesting to see what that comes back to. Cause I was a bit surprised. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Essentially, uh, is this online? Is this sent to uh, not yet. Not yet. Uh, our board for them to look at? Nope. I can do that tomorrow morning. I would ask you to do that. I would ask you to send it to them, whether they look at it or not. Yeah. Is at their discretion. I'm going to put it. I've got it. Available. Okay. Yeah. And I'm going to, I guess we can get these out of the board meeting too. So. Sure. Yeah. We've got them printed, so as well. Yeah. Okay. Appreciate that. Sure. Okay. Nothing else. And thank you very much. And we'll ask for an adjournment. All in favor? Yes. You and I, of course. <laughs> it's informal anyway, so. Thanks for having me.